My name is Evan Lee. I live and work in Vancouver. And my exhibition, which is guest curated by Bill Jeffries, is Elders and Roots. Uh, my exhibition is uh, comprised of three different works, three different bodies of works. Um, the first is a series of pictures called Ginseng Root Studies. They're from 2005. And there's a series of drawings um, titled Old Women from 2007. And then there's a video piece uh, which is called Manual Labor from 2006. So a lot of my works are um, based on photography, but they, I experiment with photography and do things like trying to avoid to use a camera. So in the case of the ginseng root studies, I used a, a desktop scanner to capture the image of the ginseng. I found that using the desktop scanner uh, allowed me to make a very high res resolution image without uh, using a large format film. Uh, just by directly capturing uh, the object digitally. And the old women drawings are pretty straightforward pencil drawings. Um, they're done uh, just with an ordinary graphite pencil on sketchbook paper. And um, since all my work does begin with photographs or, or are tied to photography, um, uh, there was a period of time when I, I w went around and, and took a lot of photographs of old women around the city and eventually um, I just decided to draw them. So it took me about uh, an hour or two uh, to make each drawing and in the drawings I've left out uh, any sign of where they are so you don't see any background, um, city background or signage or anything like that. Manual labor is a video piece, um, but it's a video piece that's constructed of a sequence of photographs. So I can't remember the exact number, but I believe there's about 50 photographs that were made over a span of about 20 minutes or so. And I came across um, a, a man working in a residential construction site, and I just kind of watched him and took some photographs of him as he was working. All of my subjects do uh, come from the everyday. Uh, for example, you know, these old women, you see them every day as you're walking around the city or driving around the city. Uh, same with the laborer. There's lots of residential construction in and around the lower mainland. Uh, with the ginseng root, they're a little bit different because um, that's more something that came from a memory of childhood where my parents would take us around uh, to you know the shops in Chinatown and they would point out the the ginsengs in the shop windows and say you know these don't they look like little people and I, I remembered that and when I decided to do the ginseng series it was in order to uh, recreate that. I'm planning to um, do something with the ginseng where I enlarge them to bigger than human size and having them installed in the public art work um, so people will be able to walk around and mingle with the ginseng. This, this will be a public art piece um, probably to be installed in 2016 if not a little bit later than that and it'll be in Richmond. I, I pretty much change medium uh, pretty much change media every six months or so, just depending on the project. Um, I tend not to repeat myself, so I likely won't do another scanner project. I was quite happy to be finished with that um, because I did, I did a fair number of other still lifes as well, kind of beyond the ginseng roots. Um, you know, I did a, a series of work where I was uh, printing uh, inkjet prints kind of on the wrong side of of photo paper and the inks wouldn't dry and then I would go and manipulate that ink by hand kind of create something that's in between a photograph and a painting so I continue to experiment in those ways you know I like I do like to experiment I do like to kind of take things apart or try using things in new ways um, 
unfortunately, the way technology is now, it's, it's not the same as it was before where you could, you know, literally turn something upside down and use it to, you know, make something completely different. It's, it's so much more kind of complicated now. So, yeah, I do like to experiment with technology, but I'm kind of finding that the more uh, technologi technological and, and digital things get, it's, there's fewer and fewer opportunities, in fact, to do something really original. Uh, I worked with Bill Jeffries uh, on a show in 2006 where uh, there were a lot of my works uh, from 1998 to 2006, and it was kind of under the premise of, uh, you know, that I work with photography in this very experimental way, as I've described before. Uh, so this time around, um, several years later, uh, Bill and I decided to put together a group of works that were on a different sort of theme. Um, you know, the title, Elders and Roots, is meant to kind of capture what that theme is about. Um, to some extent, it's about migration, it's about uh, respect for your elders. It's about the plight of the aged, as Bill Jeffries puts it. Um, and so, yeah, I like I like the idea that these works are all linked by that theme. All all of these works have been shown before in very different contexts. Either, like I said, in the capture show where it was all about um, sort of surrounding the medium of photography um, and experimenting around that. Or else, you know, the old women, I think they were shown on their own at one point. Um, it's interesting, perhaps, now to, to bring them together, um, just because I wasn't very con conscious of the fact that they were all on the same theme, necessarily. Um, it was just kind of happening quite naturally. So, it, and many of them have, haven't been shown for, you know, up to eight years and it's interesting to kind of look at them again because they they have aged well I think this, this work I mean you know I I wouldn't show it if I didn't want to show it, if I didn't if I regretted making them in the first place so um, and sometimes that does happen when you look at older work but in this case I think that they've all really improved with age okay. uh, I'm, I'm continuing to work on some of the themes that are in the show. Uh, for example, I've been working on this project where I'm looking at the migrants that arrived uh, on the Ocean Lady ship, um, and, in, and I'm continuing to use the ginseng motif in different ways. And uh, yeah, I, I think that, that these are pretty basic themes that I'll continue to explore for a long time.